Welcome back to Florida Powerboat Club on YouTube. This is Stu Jones, and we are continuing now with a feature coverage of the epic Key West Offshore Poker Run 2018 edition, which marks 26 years of continuing consecutive years of this epic event and adventure for powerboating enthusiasts from around the globe. And when I say around the globe, I mean the globe. They come transatlantic to visit us here. They come from South America, Europe, all over Canada and the United States. Once again, presented by Mercury Racing, wide open with grand prize sponsor, off lease only now 10 years running with a 2018 Chevy Silverado pickup going to the grand prize winner from this event. 214 boats as we get ready now for the Thursday run. And of course, Thursday is the most popular run and the biggest departure right here from Hallover Marine Center in North Miami. Uh, celebrating now just over one full year that we've been operating from this first class West Trek Marinas facility. We're getting ready for the start, so let's get out on the waterways and get this thing rolling on this beautiful Thursday morning in November. Key West 2018, the Thursday departure here on this 43 Midnight Express. 150 boats running today as we depart from Hallover Marine Center in North Miami. More boats to pick up at Grove Harbor in Coconut Grove. And a big run today, 170 miles all the way from Miami to Key West. We got Olivia and we got Kiana. We got the girls of FBC with us today. And we are on this brand new 43 Midnight Express getting ready for a big ride with all of our friends from the Florida Powerboat Club. Let's go! And just a shout out from our FPC photo and video aerial crew up here, flying with Lewis from Miami Executive Helicopters out of Tamiami. And the good news about this flight and this pilot is that he is gonna go with us all the way to Key West. That's what we do on the Thursday run. And that works out well for everybody because he's also hired by the racing organization to shoot the Friday offshore powerboat races. As they gather up here in the milling area, just inside Hallover Inlet, you can see that there is a huge variety of powerboats on today's run. Altogether, three classes represented. Most of you guys know that, but for those who don't, we have a sport boat class for center consoles. We have a performance class for performance V-bottoms. And of course, we have a high performance class for catamarans or any high performance Vs that wanna go 100 miles plus on the poker run course. And from this image, you can see just how many boats are already making their way out through Hallover Inlet. We kind of missed the money shot because we held all the boats inside the, the inlet waiting for the start. The helicopter got here and then immediately went towards the marina for another shot. So we kind of missed that. We'll try to get that for you guys next time. Kicking things off, Ryan Metcalf all the way from California, a 36-foot Apache, something we haven't seen for a very long time. It's going to be a little fast and furious for this first segment of the run because we're trying to get as many boats as we can. There's Donald Patterson from Florida and his 38-foot fountain. And here's Ron Ricucci in that big 47-foot outer limits, pure evil. Uh, no other boat like this. Uh, love this incredible paint job, and this is a boat that stands out as one of a kind. Now let's welcome uh, for their inaugural poker run, Chad Havens and Chrissy Reese from Texas. The first time they've been on the Key West poker run, but not the first time this boat has. This is a 40-foot skater classic called Savage, and it was on this run two years ago. And let's welcome back Alan and Allison Chase from New York, their second year in a row. They had such a good time last year on Key West that they decided to come back. What they like about this 41-foot Hustler Razor is that she's 100 miles per hour with twin Mercury Racing 700s, yet they have all the creature comforts of home down below. Six feet of headroom and all the amenities. And another team all the way from New York, Patrick and Lamia Clark in this 35-foot Donzi Team Lookout twin Mercury 350 Verados. Having a great ride offshore here, just a little far away to be able to identify that statement right there, but you can see that everyone's having a great ride getting dialed in for this eight mile leg offshore. Here's Neil and Cindy Campbell in their 42 foot Mystic center console. They've been very active with the club in 2018, having done at least four poker runs, maybe five. So good to have you guys back. And now one of my favorite 41 Apaches ever, Ed and Suri Garcia from right here in Miami in this awesome 41 that was completely restored just recently by TNT Marine Center. Anybody looking for a cool Apache, this one's for sale, call the club office and we'll hook you up with the seller. And let's welcome another new team, Eric and Ashley Matson, all the way from Long Island, their 28 foot skater, trailered it all the way to attend for their very first time. They said they had the best time ever and we hope to see you guys back soon on another event. The only problem is we gotta get them a new truck because they parked it on the wrong side of the boat ramp in Hallover and it got stolen. And if you want a big center console, this is the way to go in style. Jeff Campbell from Texas, 
in his Nortec 450 center console with a custom paint and powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. I love this shot, which really shows the range of boats that we have on this run, starting with David Berg and his big 43 Midnight Express Open with Quad Mercury Verados. And we slide over here to this brand new Wright Performance 360 Matt Borsina from Long Island, New York. He's got a pair of Mercury 400Rs. So you could see what's happening in this sport. These Mercury Verados have really found their way into every kind of boat imaginable from these sporty, lightweight catamarans to big offshore center consoles. And of course, my heart will always still be with these classic cigarettes. Sal Olivia in this 42X powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Doesn't get much better than this. A step bottom boat, great performer, and a look that says, I'm from Miami. Not their first rodeo with the Florida Powerboat Club, Sean and Kristen Lather from South Carolina. They used to do this run in the big, loud danger zone, Nortec Cat. But thanks to their good friends, Fred and Judy Revis, they're enjoying this brand new SV42 MTI heading to Key West. As we begin to make our turn into Government Cut, we catch up with Jack Villars from Switzerland. That's right, he traveled 5,000 miles to join us for this run. And again, not his first time he's been on this run many, many times. I think that this boat comes equipped with Bob Teague himself because I did see Bob riding along with Jack. That's not a bad deal. Bob's uh, obviously a powerboat racer, very successful. So having him in the boat with you has got to be a great feeling. Uh, thank you to Jack for being so dedicated and supportive of the club, traveling all these miles for so many years to join us. And we hope you're enjoying the new boat. Certainly a great looking boat. And if this isn't the money shot, I don't know what is. Traveling in through government cut with Fisher Island in the background. And if you're going to find new boats and boats you've never seen before, it's going to be on the Key West Poker Run. That's what makes this event so epic. I have never seen a 50 Han before. This is my first time. Danny Merrill from Georgia in this 50 Han center console powered by Quad Mercury Racing Verados. If you have a lot of friends, as Danny apparently does, it's great to have a big boat. You can bring them all with you. Now let's say hi to Jeff and Brenda Jacobs from Maryland in Team We're Back, a cigarette 36 Gladiator powered by Mercury Racing 525s. We don't have a lot of Gladiators in the club anymore, so it is nice to see them from time to time. I love the rooster tail that they're throwing out as they cruise in through Government Cut. And I'm guessing that Brenda probably said, oh great, we're out of the ocean now. Well, Brenda, you and probably a lot of the wives are saying, this is nice, I'll take it. And pretty much that's the way it's gonna be for the rest of the ride. Remember, that eight miles of offshore is the only offshore run we have until late in the day. Uh, at the end of the day, we've got a 40 mile leg as we head from Marathon down to Key West. But if you break down the 170 mile trip from Hallover Inlet down to Key West, there's really at least 120 of those miles that are in the protected waters and bay waters. So we're all gonna have a great ride on this incredible November day. Warm temperatures already well into the 70s, light winds, and these are the ideal conditions for power boating in paradise. Now remember, it's a Thursday morning, so you don't see a lot of commercial traffic or other boats, but I just want to assure everybody to be careful. Uh, when you go through this south side of the Port Miami, uh, cruising through across to Virginia Key, it is the best way to get into Biscayne Bay, but there's a lot of traffic through here quite often, so you always got to be careful. Now we're catching up with Don Verculian. He's got Gino Gargiulo on board, one of the most popular 52 MTIs ever built by far, uh, Mercury Racing 1550s. And I know Gino had a hard time selling this boat, but he didn't really sell it because Don became his friend and the two of them still ride around together, so I think it's a win-win situation for both of them. And we're catching up with Jimmy Harrison and his crew on FJ Propeller. Not enough time to say all the great things about Jimmy and his crew. He's got a busy agenda ahead between racing and poker runs. I will tell you more about it later in the show. Now let's welcome for their very first time John and Darlene Diakilis from Maryland uh, in this very cool 42-foot Outer Limits Legacy. Lots to tell about their story. We hope we get to that later in the show because it's a very interesting storyline, I must say. Uh, you can see now as we cross over the Rickenbacker Causeway, I would say this is pretty much the gateway to Biscayne Bay. We've still got about a five or six mile run before we slow things down at Grove Harbor for our first Poker Run bonus card. But this shot is, in my opinion, the money shot. You really get to see uh, Miami for the last time 
uh, before you head down into the Florida Keys. Uh, but it's a pretty dramatic skyline when you look back and see that amazing downtown Miami back off in the distance. Please join me in a very warm welcome to Tonka Simpson all the way from Bermuda, his very first adventure with the Florida Powerboat Club, and a shout out to Troy at Supreme Marine for this 11th hour rigging to get the boat ready. Another one of the many fountains uh, we have registered, or I do believe that this is a registered boat. We can't tell because there's no decal. And on closer inspection, I see not a single life jacket. So clearly they are not registered with the event, and we hope that they'll just stay clear of the rest of our boats. Now we begin our descent on Grove Harbor Marina here in Coconut Grove, uh, a big part of the event. Once again, our second staging location for dozens of boats that are here waiting for us to arrive. And we're gonna hand off a poker card at this location. Let me explain to those of you who are new to the event, we do not do poker cards at multiple stops on this event because we got a long way to go, 170 miles. And so we're gonna just do two cards, the bonus cards, the one here at Grove Harbor and one later in Marathon, those two bonus cards are going to be added to your hand of five, which you pick up on Saturday night. So altogether, if you do get the bonus cards, you'll be playing it with a total of seven cards to take a shot at winning that off lease only 2018 Chevy Silverado pickup. So let's uh, do the math here. We've left from Hullover Inlet with about uh, 75 or 80 boats. We're picking up about another 30 or 40 boats here at Grove Harbor Marina. So we're going to be upwards around 110, 120 today for the rundown. And that's how many boats are going to be coming up to the dock to get their cards. So this is going to be a little crazy. In fact, <laughs> I looked at it uh, from up in the sky and I looked at it from the dock and I thought this possibly could be the most number of boats that we've ever had picking up cards at one time. Joined here by Miami Dade Fire Rescue putting on a show and these guys are the best. As we mill around, uh, let's get back up on the dock and see what's going on here as we finish off the breakfast sponsored by Grove Harbor Marina. Uh, there's Marissa and Kayla uh, pouring the OJ and the coffee and having a fresh bagel on the dock so that we can get a little food in our belly and get out there for this first leg, this exciting run from Grove Harbor down to Key Largo. So still lots of stuff going on here on the dock. So let's just uh, let the natural audio and the music uh, take over for the next little while as we get a feeling of what it's like to be on this epic 214 boat Key West offshore poker run. Well, it looks like Marissa and Kayla are ready with the poker cards along with the Grove Harbor team. And this is the one time of the poker run, really the only time where we can get up close and personal with all of the crews as they slowly pull up to the dock and reach out for that lucky poker card. And it gives us a chance to really look at the boats and listen to those engines roar and get a good look at the crews and see how much fun they're having as they get ready to head out onto the bay waters and hit the throttles. And no better way to kick things off than with the beautiful Brittany Dunn, along with J.W. Davis here on his 42-foot statement. 
Here's David and Jenny Landsman from Maryland in their 44-foot Mystic Cat uh, Mercury Racing 700s. We saw this boat for the first time earlier this year at the Emerald Coast Poker Run in Gaston. And of course, a big shout out to Brett Manier and Rusty Williams on this Performance Boat Center, Wright Performance 360 Cat, pair of Mercury Verado 400 hours powering this beast. And they're gonna put on a big show down in Key West where they will display a sister ship to this Wright Performance and as well as a sensation in the Poker Run Village. And what I would consider to be a Poker Run veteran, Michael Alexander from New York in this 32 foot skater with triple Mercury 300 outboards. I think he's been doing this event for about 10 or 12 years. I could be off, but uh, good to see Michael back. Loves coming down here and makes it the boys trip every year. And these guys always have a lot of fun. And we're joining once again, Jack Villars from Switzerland in this 44 foot MTI cat, uh, big Teague 1200s. And, and there's Bob Teague himself uh, at the helm as he uh, just carefully nudges the boat up to the dock for getting a card and a lovely crew member on board today picking up that card and making sure she doesn't lose her footing as she heads back to the cockpit. And another 42-foot Mystic, this one Jimmy and Gina Smith all the way from California, a TT Crescendo. That means tender too, that's right, their big boat is well over 100 foot and it'll be down in Key West also. Nice to have them back, they've been doing this event for years. And this is a Doug Wright cat, a 32, Laurent Besnier. Chose him as being from Florida. Well, he does have a home here, but he is from France. I never felt like this before. Strung out on the floor, shaking to my core. And another Mystic 42. Uh, having a little trouble identifying this boat. No stickers on the boat yet, no decals. We got 11 Mystics, so uh, kind of hard to go back to the list and figure out. The only thing we can do is look at the color. Let's say hi now to James Lee from Kansas, a 46-foot skater. Uh, he has been a fixture on this event for as long as I can remember. Uh, he brings his big yacht down his Hatteras to Key West and likes running his skater down as well. Good to have Jim back and always a spirited team on board. And another skater, this time it's Tony DeWall and his 40-foot skater all the way from Michigan. Uh, Die-hard boaters, I know they do a lot of poker runs throughout the year, and they move this boat several thousands of miles to do that. So nice to have you guys down here in November joining us for Key West. Now let's say hi to Chris Mastronardi from Canada, 48-foot MTI Mercury Racing 1350s. Chris has been on this event many times in the past in a variety of different boats, but it's certainly one of the most impressive big catamarans that we've seen him in. And uh, a shout out to all the Canadians, by the way. They travel a long way to be here, and I hope to see some of these Canadian teams uh, this summer when I head to Ontario. Let's welcome back Ron Roman Ricucci in this 2006 47 foot Outer Limits GTX Pure Evil. It set a 173 mile per hour kilo record back in 2008. Glad to see Don Doty from Michigan and his crew back again in this 42-foot skater, one-year skater, and he is passionate about the sport. I met Don years ago in Grand Haven, Michigan at the Smoke in the Water Poker Run. Now we're joining Mark and Eileen Fisher on their 399 Deep Impact. First time we've seen this boat dressed up in silver and blue. I love the paint job. And we've got some great video coverage uh, in the future episode of the Deep Impact Owners Rendezvous that they did on Saturday during the Key West run. And if you want to take home that coveted Sexiest Crew Award, this is probably the way you want to get started. Right out of the box with uh, a full load of bikinis on Eric and Maggie Glazer's 43-foot Midnight Express. Of course, we saw a lot of this boat in 2018. It belonged to David and Jenny Landsman, who also put on a great show everywhere they went. And it looks like that tradition is continuing here today. It's great to see Tom Beagle back here with his 36-foot Sensation. 
Mercury Racing 575s that I know have been pumped up. This is a very, very fast boat. I've had a chance to ride with Tom before. You won't find more guys who are as passionate about this sport as Tom. You know, I can't help but say just how great it is to have these drones to be able to fly at low level and just kind of weave through the pack. But this shot really shows, and I really commend everybody, about how well they managed this docking exchange, this card exchange. Everyone was patient, and everyone seems to be handling their boats very well. Certainly, a lot of these boats are easier to handle these days with the zero effort controls and you know the ease of shifting. And while some people would say this looks like an absolute cluster, it, you know it really doesn't have to be because if everyone's patient and you guys are good about operating your boats, then we can have the best of both worlds, and that's exactly what we got going today. Joel Bijan, all the way from Canada, in his brand new Sensation 40 CCX Center Console, and keeping up a family tradition all the way from Chicago. Bud Porter here in this 39-foot cigarette, following in his brother Jim's footsteps. Jim has attended this event more than a dozen times in a 34-foot Phantom called Pipe Dream. And from right here in Miami, longtime supporter of this event, Louis Sotero, who we all know from his two-seater Sea Ray aircraft that flies over top the poker rooms many, many times. And now he's enjoying this 38-foot Donzi Center console. Sponsored by Marine Unlimited in New Jersey, let's welcome Doug and Sherry Falcone from New Jersey in this brand new 42-foot Mystic powered by Quad Mercury Racing Verado 400 hours. And celebrating 22 years as members with the Florida Powerboat Club, Mike and Maggie Sands. Well, Maggie's at home right now, but Mike Jr. is on board. They're in a brand new DCB M29. My How Time Flies, one of the very first Deep Impact 399s ever built belongs to Ray Key. Keep your eye on this crew, especially when you're at the raft up at Lemon Key, because they can put on a show. And now a closer look at this SB42 MTI that belongs to Fred Rivas. Sean and Kristen Lather from South Carolina uh, getting the privilege of driving this baby all the way from Lighthouse Point to Key West, and I can't think of a better way to do it. From Red MTI to Red Deep Impact, uh, a veteran here on this event, David Sacker from Illinois with triple Verado 350s on this 36 Deep Impact. And they have done this event many, many times. David loves going to Key West, and we've probably seen him do this run maybe six or seven times in the last 10 years. And a very, very cool looking 42X uh, cigarette, Rick Regal from Ohio. First time we've seen this boat on a poker run. It's, I think, brand new. It runs great with 1100s, but Hey, if you can put the 1350s in, go for it. And a closer look at this big Midnight Express 43 Open. You can see why this is such a popular boat. Uh, not because of the red bikini on the front, although that is pretty commendable, but because it's such a great boat for bringing all your friends. I've had a chance to ride with David a number of times, and it's a great ride. We have got a lot of boats still to cover here as we hand off bonus card number one from Grove Harbor. So we hope you enjoy the sights and sounds of the Key West Poker Run. I'm going to take a break and let you guys enjoy the fun.
I'd like to make a special mention to Noel and Gretchen Speranza, who have made a big splash on the Poker Run circuit in 2018, attending several events back to back in this big 44 foot concept. We've also had Concept join us as a factory sponsor for the Key West Poker Run for the very first time, so we had a chance to stop by the factory and meet Lewis and his son Eric, who gave us a tour. We're at Concept Boats in Opalaka with Lewis and Eric, and I uh, want to thank them for participating in the Key West Poker Run. And we're going to get our first factory tour of Concept Boats. Let's go. It was the first time that I'd visited the Concept Factory and I was truly amazed to discover that after 31 years, this has been a family-run business for all of that time. Young Eric wasn't even born when his father started the company, but now Eric takes charge and is pretty much involved in all of the factory operations day to day. This is where we do things, you know, these are all of our molds, our hatches, our 44 mold, our 32, 36, you know, 36 and 32 are more popular molds. Here we have a, a console, for a new 44 open that we're coming out with, it's going to be a side console. The customer wanted, you know, a big center console with a nice cabin under the console. Right now, we're building the mold for it. The, you were the you were one of the lead uh, front runners when it came to building a big center console, a 44. But you guys built your first one probably 10 years ago, maybe 11. Back in 08, back in 08, yeah, yeah. So almost 11 years ago, you when you came to the Miami Boat Show with that big 44, and everyone said, "Oh my God." A 44-foot center console, what are they thinking? Everyone thought you guys were crazy, yeah, no, but look at now they all followed you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you guys the, the paint shop. This is, where, this is where everything gets painted. All the paint's done in-house. We found a familiar face in the painting department, and that was Richie Lucente, who has been around this industry for as long as I can remember, and way back about 15 years ago, he painted my Harley Davidson. But Richie's worked at Cigarette, at Renegade Boats, but now with Concept, He's putting the finishing touches on these big 44 foot center consoles and making them truly custom boats that look great on the Florida Powerboat Club Poker Runs. We took a closer look at the rigging department to see how much work goes into putting these concepts together, especially when they're rigged with quad mercury racing Verados. Now here we got the, the upholstery shop. This is where everything's done. All the diamond stitching, everything's done here. Most concept customers are allowed to visit the factory many times to watch their boats being built. We even met a customer who was just taking delivery of his 32 that day and he was very, very pleased with the outcome. It was the second concept that he's owned. While the 32, the 36, and the 39 foot center console models tend to be very popular with concept, clearly the 44 is their flagship model. We hope to see many more of these 44s on Florida Powerboat Club poker runs. We're back here on the docks at Grove Harbor as we continue our coverage of the Poker Run handoff on the Thursday morning group. Altogether, about 150 teams in total for the Thursday run. We're not gonna see all of them here on the dock getting a card. A lot of them have already made their way down to the Florida Keys, but we are gonna pick up as many as we can here as we depart Miami. And who can believe that we are in the middle of November and enjoying bikinis and warm sun and great temperatures uh, the guys got their shirts off. Doesn't get much better than this, guys, to be able to join Florida Powerboat Club's signature Key West Offshore Poker Run in the middle of November every year. 26 years now that we've been doing this event, welcoming teams from all over the United States, Canada, and as far away as Europe, and featuring every kind of boat imaginable from the performance marine industry. So it's about time to wrap up this episode number four with feature coverage of the Key West Poker Run. When we return for episode number five, we'll be on plane and heading south through Biscayne Bay towards Key Largo for our first lunch stop and continuing through the beautiful Florida Keys. Special thanks once again to our presenting sponsor, Mercury Racing, and our Grind Pie sponsor, Off Leafs Only. Thanks to all of our participants for joining us. We're gonna continue this coverage when we come back for episode five. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to us on the YouTube channel, Florida Powerboat Club. Be sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when the next episode comes out. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram, and also check out our website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events.